Close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Give the mind a place where it can settle down and rest, and it can gain some strength. Don't go wandering off anyplace else, because the mind does need to rest. We deal with sights, sounds, smells, tastes, tactile sensations, all kinds of issues all throughout the day. And if we're only rest is sleep, then we're not really aware of what we're doing. And even when we're sleeping, we dream. We can dream all kinds of stuff. The only safe way to rest your mind is to rest it in concentration, so bring it to the breath. Make sure it can stay with the breath, and make the breath comfortable so it's a good place to stay. The mind gains strength from that com sense of comfort. So try to notice, is long breathing good for the body right now or short? Fast or slow? Heavy? Light? Try to find something that feels really good inside right now, so the mind is happy to rest here. It's when the mind rests with alertness and mindfulness that it can gain strength. The mindfulness is keeping something in mind. In this case, you're going to keep the breath in mind, and keep in mind also the fact that you're not going to wander someplace else. Alertness is, what you're, is watching what you're actually doing to make sure you stay in line with your original intention. These two things work together, and they develop through a third quality, which is called ardency. We want to do this well. You realize that your happiness depends on the state of your mind. All your actions depend on the state of your mind. Whether you're going to be skillful or not depends on the state of the mind. So you want to make sure the state of the mind is good and strong, well-rested, clear, knowing what it's doing. So that when difficult issues come up and you know the right thing to do and you have the strength to do it, all too often we know what's the right thing to do, but we just don't feel strong enough. Or maybe maybe strong enough, but we don't care. So we have to learn how to care. Remember that our actions are the things that shape our lives. And then look at the strength of your mind, because sometimes there's things that are very tempting to do, but you know are going to be unskillful, or things you don't like to do but will good, give good results in the long run. And you have to strengthen the mind so it takes the long run into account. It's not too hungry right now to just jump for whatever it wants. This way we get some control over the mind. And the things we do and say and think actually serve to our long-term well-being, well our best interest. As what I said, this is the beginning of wisdom. Is when you ask yourself, what when I do it will lead to long-term welfare and happiness? What when I do it will lead to long-term harm and suffering? You take the long-term as your guide realizing there is such a thing as long-term happiness, and it's going to depend on your actions. And when you think about the long-term, you're not just going by your moods. Then you can set, be said to be wise. This way you have strength the strength to live a good life, a life that harms nobody, doesn't harm you, doesn't harm the people around you, and gives you something good to take with you when you have to leave this life. So make sure you take the long-term into account. Is that, that's what's going to matter. I mean, your moods right now, they come and go, but the results can last for a long, long time. So be careful to focus on the results and make sure that they're good. <laughs>